Hi everyone, welcome to Taronga. My name's Nick Boyle and I'm the Director of Animal Welfare, Conservation and Science here at Taronga. And today's World Rhino Day and World Rhino Day is a really exciting day. It's a time to reflect on, you know, those, these amazing creatures that have been roaming our earth for 14 million years. And it's also a time to think about what we need to do to support these species. And also it's a time for hope. And today's a really exciting day because I've got a pretty special announcement to make about our black rhino breeding program at Dubbo. We're so excited to announce that we've got a black rhino calf expected early next year. So Taronga Western Plains Zoo, we're part of an international effort to, that's established a conservation breeding program for the southern black rhino. And I'm the Australasian species coordinator of that breeding program. Now one of our cows out at Dubbo, Bakita, she's pregnant and this is her fourth calf and she's due to give birth uh, early in 2021. And the reason that this pregnancy is incredibly important there's only about five and a half thousand black rhinos left on the planet and southern black rhinos are subspecies and there's even, even less of them. So this is a critically important program for this species. There's a handful of zoos that are part of this collaborative breeding effort and in the last decade there's probably only two places that have been reliably breeding these rhinos and Taronga Western Plains Zoo out in Dubbo has led the way on that. So we are incredibly proud of the efforts of our, our zookeepers our vets, our reproductive biologists, the whole team that have led to this pregnancy. And when you're talking about a species as charismatic as black rhinos, it's, there's something really sad about the idea of losing them, but there's something that gives us a lot of hope within this breeding program and the success we've seen out at Dubbo. Now black rhinos, they're one of the five extant or still remaining rhinos on earth and they're not the only one we focus on. We've got three species of rhino in our population out at Dubbo, the greater one horn rhino, black rhino and of course white rhino. And another species that we're really passionate about is the Sumatran rhino. Now the Sumatran rhino is a critically endangered species. There's probably less than 80 Sumatran rhinos left in the world. And we're working very hard with partners. We're part of the Sumatran Rhino Survival Alliance working hard with partners to save this species. The work that Taronga's done has been to support the, the ranger programs that are stopping poaching in, in the forest of Waycambus National Park in Sumatra. We've seen great results on that front. There hasn't been a rhino poached in nine years in that forest, which is, which is fantastic. Our team are also working to guide the reforestation of critical parts of the national park and we're about two years through a four year program there. And one of the most important things is the expertise that a zoo like Taronga and Taronga Western Plains can lend uh, to, to the team that are on the ground there in Sumatra. So our vets and reproductive biologists regularly spend time with the team that are looking after the rhinos in Waycambus National Park, providing advice on breeding strategies and health and reproduction and all of these sort of things that is producing some really good results. And what's been really important is that in this time of COVID, where people haven't been able to travel to Sumatra, that technology's enabled our vets to spend a lot of time talking to the team on the ground that over there, guiding them through different things and assisting them with, with the work that they need to get on with. Now, when, when this uh, pandemic lifts and we can travel again, the thing that we really encourage everyone to do is travel to these beautiful parts of the world and try and make sure that people uh, investing in these national parks through ecotourism and, uh, and other activities. The, the benefit that's derived from heading to the national parks and spending time and money in there is that that money is put all back into the ecosystem. And we're, we're running eco tours in partnership with Eco Lodges Indonesia. So when we can travel again, we encourage everyone to get on board with that. So guys, happy World Rhino Day. We're really passionate about rhinos here at Taronga and I hope you are too. If uh, you want to learn more about rhinos, of course you can jump on our website and have a look at the fantastic conservation work that our teams are doing. But there is nothing quite like getting up close to a rhino. And while we're grounded here in Australia, there is one place that you can see three amazing species of rhino and that's out at Taronga Western Plains Zoo in Dubbo. So get yourself out there and have a look. Thanks guys.